Let's take a look at this problem. Given um, P is equal to 100, R is equal to 8%, or um, 0 0.08, if I put it in decimal form. Uh, it says T is 20 years. Now let's just find a fill in phone table for A. And the first one, N is equal to 1. So let's look at it first. Since uh, n is equal to 1 and it's not continuous, then we want to use this formula. a is equal to p times 1 plus r over n to the nt power. So let's plug in what they give us. Uh, let's see, p is 100, 1 plus r, which is 0.08, divided by n, which is a, uh, oops, try that again. What was n? Uh, n is 1. Uh, raise the nt power. So we got 1 times t, which was 20. You want to do a little bit of basic math before you plug it in your calculator. So I got 1 plus, of course this 1 here doesn't do anything, so 0 0.08 divided by 1 is 0 0.08. But this is the main thing uh, that you need to do. 1 times 20 gives us 20. And let's put that in the calculator. If you're in graph mode, do a second mode to exit out. And we've got 100, beginning parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08, closing parentheses, caret, 20. Enter. And we get 466.1. Um, Okay, so our second problem says, uh, our second part says n is equal to 4. So again, we're going to use this formula because it doesn't say continuous. So we've got a is equal to p times 1 plus r over n to the nt power. p is still 100. 1 plus r, r is 0 0.08, divided by n, which was 4, raised the nt power. So we've got 4 times um, t, which is still 20. Again, you want to do a little bit of basic math before you plug in your calculator. So we've got 1 plus, oops, uh, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4 raised to the 4 times 20 80th power. So we've got 100, um, beginning parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 4. Closing parentheses, carat 80. And enter. And we get 487.54. Now, then we got n is equal to 12. Again, doesn't say continuous. We're going to use this formula. A is equal to p times 1 plus r over n to the nt power. Plug in what we're given. Uh, P is 100. Uh, 1 plus R, which is 0 0.08. Uh, divide by N, which is 12. Raised to the NT power, which is 12 times T, which is 20. Which gives us 100. Um, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12. Raised to the 240th power. Okay, so we can do a, um, well, I'll just type it in, 100, uh, beginning parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 12, close parentheses, caret 240. Now, if you're fairly good with technology, you can do a second enter to bring up the previous entry and just change it. But if you're not very good with technology, it's just as easy as to type it in brand new each time. 492.68. Okay, and then our next one is n is equal to 365. Again, we'll plug in what we're given. a is equal to um, p times 1 plus r over n to the nt power. 
uh, P was 100. Uh, 1 plus R, which is 8%, so 0 0.08, divided by N, which is 365, raised the NT power, which is 365 times 20. Now this one's not so easy to do in your head. 365 times 20, um, don't know exactly. Uh, you can plug it in directly. Just got to remember to put parentheses around the exponent. If you ever have more than a single number up there, that's where you have to do to put in your calculator. So I'm going to do 100, beginning parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.08 divided by 365, closing parentheses caret, then beginning parentheses for the exponent, and 365 times 20. You can put a closing parentheses on at the very end if you want, or just press enter. And that will give us 495.22. And the last one, it tells us it's compounded continuously, which means we want to use PERT formula. So we'll switch over. And we use A is equal to P E to the RT power. Well, P we said was 100. E to the R, uh, which is 0.08 times t, and t was 20. Now you have to be careful when you plug this one in. You don't want to put any x parentheses in at all. So we're going to do 100, second ln to get the e, and notice it puts the e, puts a caret, puts the beginning parentheses. And then I got 0.08 times 20. Now, notice when I put in the 0 0.08 times 20, I'm not putting any extra parentheses in at all. I didn't actually do any parentheses. And then press enter. And that's going to give us 495.30. And that would be your answer. And the end of that problem.